Um, Daddy, I want to ask it's personal to me now. There was one day I wanted to do something, so I don't have resources for it. So I just decided not to do that thing again. So as I lay my head on my bed, God said, "Stand up, take your bed and go." I said, "Eh, go where?" God said, "Take your bed and go." Okay, shall let me obey the voice of God. So I took my bed and I started the journey. That day, God did that thing for me expressly, without stress, nothing, nothing. So another day now came again, and I needed to do that same thing. And I said, "Ah, ah God, I did that one." But the confidence was there. I just took my take your bed and start walking. The journey. Oh, I didn't go. Ah, that's it. <laughs> Enjoy, I didn't go. I was like, ah, "God, the way you did it that time, I have faith now." It's because I have faith. That's why I took my bed. That's not faith. That's stubbornness. Faith is not stubbornness. I said that several. Faith is not stubbornness. Faith is word steadiness. There must be a word before a faith comes. It's not repeating the same thing that brings faith. Most of us are just stubborn. You know how faith. That God used... See, the same God that used the rod, used the word. And it's not the same journey. Say, you, take the rod. Moses, he said, Joshua, let the word not depart from you. It's not, it might be the same assignment, but not the same instruction. So you are doing the same thing. That's stubborn. You're not stubborn. You don't stand up and start going. That's self. That's not spirit. Spirit will always wait for instruction. God did not tell you anything to do. Just stand up and give it. No, that doesn't work that way. So if if you God tell you to go ahead. No, he didn't do it for you. Your faith draw it. Your faith can draw what God did not release. Yeah. Oh, you think I'm lying? The woman with the issue of blood. Did Jesus pay for her? What draw the miracle? Your faith can draw God. Your faith can draw things on earth without God's approval. Uh, uh, I can say to God that there is a way here, and God said there is no way. I said, God, there is a way. If you keep believing in one day, there will be a way. But I'll bend down. That is why there is something called God permissive way. Okay? So, let me say this to you. Uh, maybe that will help you. See, when we pray for a headache, most of us, and you lay your hands on your head, you have a headache. It's in the name of Jesus. Headache, go. And it goes. You are happy. Say, hey, glory to Jesus. I lay my hands on myself. And they go. Then, maybe some month after, you have a headache. Say, and they go in Greece. <laughs> I see how much No, you have faith. Okay, you don't guys don't tell the truth. And they go. And they say, you must be joking. Say, ah, I believe. It is reason. <laughs> In your name, we cast that demon. You quote all the scriptures, you know, and make it stay there. Oga, okay, your faith is working. Faith does not fail. But there is, you can't use faith for what wisdom will do. Every angle of the spirit has their place. Why must men fail? Because men are ignorant of what God is. So, okay, for example, one day somebody came to me. Mommy know them. A guy and a girl. They are, been, they are very good Christians. They come to pray in the church. Now, now please, they will pray and pray. They will be worshipping God. Presence will come down. I in my office will feel it. They worship God. They are about to get married. So I told them, go and do blood test. I want to teach you. They so much believe that their blood is good. Then they went to do blood test. One is AS, another one is AS. Then they came back. They have planned, they have prayed. They cried. They, they, they don't know what to do. So they came to my office. I said, there are two things to do. And God is with me. I trust God. Say, I know what God can do. So you can pray now. And you can do it. That's why it's God. Say, you can have faith. Even that God did not do it. That you are going to get into the marriage. And you give out your answers. And say, it's still God. It's still faith. Say, but faith is not what gives us direction. Wisdom is profitable to that. Not faith. However, if you believe... You can have faith. You can go on in the wedding. Out to them. When your children are dying, God will still be standing with your faith. You get his faith? He said, yes. So, so have faith. Your children will die. I said, perhaps the faith can sing two days of sorrow. So that's also part of it. Ah, when daddy, God will stay there. I said, God will still be staying there with you. When you are burying your children. Because you don't make decision of direction by faith. 
We make it by wisdom. That's why men fail. Men now blame God for their lack of ignorance. The guy says, sir, on this table today, girl, I'm sorry, go, I go. The guy is married now. Beautiful children. God will have stayed with them. Do you know why? They are the one thinking that God can do it. God didn't tell them so. There is no word from the Lord that says, don't worry. There are people that marry SSSS and God tell them, marry. I will do miracle. But God didn't tell you. Just saw testimony. Testimony does not, should not produce a direction. It should produce a steering. To go and pray for a direction. Get wisdom.